Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and right now we're going to do some benchmark tests on this 2012 MacBook Pro. This is the 2.3 gigahertz model and so we're going to do a Geekbench test on it. This is with 4 gigs of RAM. Now, I'm going to upgrade it to 16 gigs of RAM which you will see in a following video and I'll show you the comparison uh, in this video actually right here. So let's go ahead and get Geekbench open and we'll, I'll do Novabench as well. As you can see I have uh, Geekbench and Novabench both right here. So I'll be doing both of these actually. So let's do Geekbench first and as you can see we have Geekbench. I'm going to do 64 bit right there and let's go ahead and run the benchmark. Once the benchmark is done, we'll be able to directly compare this to this MacBook once I've installed the 16 gigs of RAM. And like I said, I'm just going to cut to after I've already installed the RAM in this video. I will do another video on installing the RAM in this as well. I did go ahead and pick up the Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabyte, uh, 1600 megahertz RAM kit. All right, so we're wrapping up here. And as you can see here, we got 11,859 which is a pretty good uh, a pretty good score for this. We're going to go ahead and run Novabench now and then we'll be able to compare all these results after 16 gigabytes has been installed. Let's go ahead and open up Novabench. Make sure all your apps are closed. You definitely want to have everything closed when you're doing these benchmark tests and start the test. As you can see now it's testing the graphics card right here. So in Novabench here, uh, we got a 1092, and I'm not really sure how Novabench uh, has their score rated and whatnot, but we can go ahead and save this, and we can compare it later. So we'll save it as MacBook Pro, 4 gigabytes, and then we can go ahead and compare this later after we have the RAM installed. So hold on, I'm going to do the other video, and then I'll come back to this one. All right, guys, so we are back now, and as you can see here, we have the 16 gigabytes of RAM installed. So let's go ahead and run some benchmarks, right? So first, let's go ahead and open up Geekbench, and we will see how this performs. And then we'll be able to directly compare it to the last score that we took. So let's go. All right, here, and as you can see here, we have 12,011. So let's go ahead and upload that and compare it to the last result. All right, so if we go to my profile page here, you can see that we got a pretty substantial little jump out of that there. It just goes to show you how much a little investment can do for your MacBook. And if you install the RAM correctly and get everything going, please leave a comment below and let me know how that worked out for you. Let's go ahead and run Nova Bench now. It's another benchmark program that we used earlier, and we're going to go ahead and test and compare the scores between the two Nova Bench scores that we got. Make sure Nova Bench is the only app running. And so just kind of let it do its thing. It's doing the benchmark tests, and it'll start testing the graphics card here pretty soon, as you can see. And as soon as that's finished, we'll be able to open up and compare the last score that we got with four gigabytes. All right, guys, so as you can see here on the left, this was what we had when we were running four gigabytes of RAM. That was at 1092, and now with 16, we're at 1204. So we got a pretty significant bump there um, putting in that extra RAM. And also that it will help out a lot of other applications that are RAM intensive and that utilize that RAM. Let me know what you think below. And also, please click this button and subscribe. Meep, meep. Our Twitter link is here. Meep. Our Facebook link is here. So thanks again, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. This is Dom from MacMixing.com, and have a great day.